So this one here, we're gonna talk about alignment of the needle and lubrication. And so here, if we turn it on its side, I'm gonna show you a critical lubrication point, just right in here. And I use the Zoom Oiler, and I mix it with Tri-Flow. I just spray a little bit of the Tri-Flow in the Zoom Oiler to mix the oil up. And so it's kind of hard to see, but right down in there, you'll see a sort of a moving part. And you want to hit that with a couple drops of oil, maybe just a drop. And that's going to be a critical spot right there. If, you're, if your machine is sort of stiff right here, when you try and do that, then it's, it's very likely uh, these components down here are sort of black, don't have the lubrication they should have. Also, you can take this out and lube underneath there. Just put a drop of oil underneath. And also, you can put a drop of oil here and then run it back and forth. Now, if for some reason your needle is not lined up, you can bend these needles just a little bit and to, to make them line up. So, and then also in here, this is where your light is. If you don't have a light, basically, this light here, you turn it to the left and it pops right out. This is similar to a brake light on a car. Now, any moving parts here, you can see. You can see here, this, this part here, and then the part all that, up here, there, and then back in there. You can see any moving part, you just want to drop of oil on each part so that it can move freely. And so, on this one here, it actually has a, a small little port, which is the only one I've seen, to put oil in. You just want like a drop of oil, that's all you want, unless you want oil all over your project. The older uh, machines used to have oil holes, where it said oil, you put oil in various parts. This one's not really easy to get apart, this, this door here is, is pretty nice because it can, it can allow you access to one of the main components that needs oil. And then back here, the side cover here, comes off, it's one screw on the bottom, it holds it on. And here you can access your belt, if you have a bad belt, and there's also some points in here, you might want oil. Any, like for instance this part here, any of the moving parts that you can see when you move this, and be careful not to get any on your belt. Any of those moving parts, you want to just take and stick a drop of oil on, and, uh, and the machine will work a lot better. Sometimes you don't have oil on these, and it dries up, your machine will get real stiff, and your motor may even shut off because of a you know, over situation. So in order to get this front panel off, if you want to do a detailed lube, basically there's a few screws you need to loosen. The main screws are... This one here you have to take all the way off. One of the few screws you have to take all the way off. This one. This one here you can just loosen. Uh, there's one screw here that holds this panel on, right here. This screw, it should just pop off. Then we have this screw here. Then we have two screws underneath here. There's one there. And then one back there. You don't have to take them all off, you can just reach in there. Leave Phillips and take them loose. Once you have those screws loose, then the whole side panel will come off. Like so. And then once again, the critical oiling points are this here, right there. This here you can see it has a felt right there. The felt is designed to absorb the oil. You need to, you need to saturate that felt. Otherwise, all you need is like a drop of oil on any of the moving parts. Um, there's several parts up here that should be oiled. This main shaft here and the main moving parts here. You can tell the moving parts by simply moving the mechanism and looking for the moving parts. And you just want to put like a drop of oil on all the moving parts, except for uh, the parts that have felt on it. And you can see there's one part here that has a felt on it. And you want to try and saturate that felt, but don't overflow it. And make sure that all the moving parts have a drop of oil on them. And once again, your needle can be misaligned sometimes. So all you have to do is bend the needle just a hair and sometimes that'll take care of any misalignment. Um, there may be uh, an alignment adjustment as well that you can deal with to align your needle. Use your belt in order to loosen your belt. Once you have those loose, then you can adjust your motor so you can uh, accommodate your belt. This is it for this video. Please allow me to quickly introduce you to my super useful product for sewers. Discover the ultimate sewing companion with 600 sewing projects. Packed with a massive collection of sewing projects, this easy-to-navigate PDF is your gateway to endless creativity. Simply click on a category, whether it's bags, clothes, bedding, toys, headwear, or an extensive variety of other plans like accessories, zippers, plushies, quilts, scarves, and a lot more. Each of the 600 projects contains a detailed explanation on how to make them, with lots of images, materials, step-by-step -step instructions, and even videos. Visuals for every project help you quickly decide what to add to your to-do list. With built-in notes pages, you can easily save and organize your favorite projects for future sewing sessions. 
600 sewing projects. The only sewing resource you will need. Transform your sewing experience today. Link is in the description of this video.